Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily detect the fire area using normalized burn ratio. I will try to show you that all of a step. Then I hope after completing that you can easily monitor the fire area using normalized burn ratio. So for that when you do this type of work, so in this case I take the example on Los Angeles, this study area. So now this study area, first of all you need to take the some data such as before fire condition imagery. So this is the before fire and this is the after fire condition okay in the Los Angeles. So you can see the difference between that this is the before and this is the after. So we find out this type of place, this type of scenario, it means that it's a fire area. So this is the two composite we need to create. If you want you can use at the Landsat or if you want you can also use the Sentinel imagery. So in this case I use at the Sentinel two satellite imagery and I find out this is the before condition there is no fire but after fire we find out this type of condition okay and after that we calculate the pre-fire NBR mainly normalized burn ratio for the pre-fire so then we find out this type of imagery and after the post fire normalized burn ratio so we find out this type of things so now between them just we check the make the change and further we just apply threshold technique and then we detect the fire area so if you check it then we can identify this type of place we detect the fire okay this type of red color indicating about the fire region further if you want you can also calculate the uh, different types of fire level such as very high low moderate so this type of things but i also discuss about the another class so now if you check it we find out this type of place we find out the fire the state can indicate about the fire region so now how i can create this type of things now i try to explain step by step then i hope you can easily do this type of analysis for your own study area so let's go so first of all just simply import your study area so in this case my study area is uh, los angeles so just i simply take the data from fao and then i simply set the fire start date and this I also put the fire in date okay so this is the start date and this is the in date of the fire and then we simply call the sentinel 2 harmonized satellite imagery and filter bounds with our study area and also take the less than 1% cloud cover then create the before and after median composite of my uh, for my study area so then we find out this type of imagery if you check it we find out that this is the before and this is the after fire condition we find out and now we just calculate the NBR NBR mainly normalized burn ratio basically this formula is that near infrared band minus short wave infrared 2 band divided by near infrared band plus short wave infrared 2 band so in this case we just create a function add NBR and then we apply this function and we rename it as the NBR and after that we just simply connecting this select the NBR band from the add before and after we simply connect and after that we can easily get this type of pre-fire normalized burn ratio and post-fire normalized burn ratio okay so for that we just simply check the change between the before and after so simply take a variable change and then calculate the before nbr subtract with after nbr and then we calculate this type of things then we find out the change and from the change we just extract the greater than 0 0.3 in this time you can also increasing or decreasing this type of things but if you want you can also apply the out show technique then you also get the more better result so now you can easily identify this type of place is very high uh, this type of place we find out the fire okay we find out this type of place have the fire this type of red cleaning and about the fire this is the one process another process if you want you can also apply the burn severity suppose if you check uh, unburned area then low severity then moderate low severity then moderate high severity and very high severity so this type of things is also possible then we also calculate the area how much for unburned area how much for low severity area how much for moderate low area how much for moderate high area and how much is very very high burn severity area we can easily calculate so it also possible so far i also discuss about this type of things how we can easily make the classification use after calculating the burn ratio 
so if you have any question regarding this topic you can also ask me then i also try to explain all of things step by step so today is no more but i also give you some uh, announcement for our coming online training program so basically if you want to join my online training program on google earth engine so this new best will be start from 11th april and now this registration is the open and we also provide the first 10 days that you will get the 50% discount on this online training program. If you want to take this 50% discount on this online training program, as soon as possible, just simply complete your registration. And you can check all of details for the course content or syllabus from our website. I already added the link in the video description. Simply check all of things from the video description. And after completing this online training program, you are able to do any types of remote sensing analysis very quickly and efficiently using the Google Earth Engine. And when you join the live training program, you also get some benefits such as you can get the course e-certificate after submitting all of assignment. You can get that all of materials, mainly slide or PDF. You can get all of practice code and also get the recorded session. If you miss any live program, you can easily cover using the recorded session. Also get the lifetime teaching support regarding this online training program. If you face any problem, you can get the lifetime free support and also research collaboration. If you are inter if you are interested to publish the scientific paper, then we are just collaborate and then we are we just both of you just make the publish the scientific paper. It also possible. So this type of benefit you want to get, then as soon as possible, simply complete your registration and join our upcoming training, online training program. For joining this training program, simply contact in this email or also contact with this WhatsApp number and then book your seat. So today is no more. Thank you for asking that. Stay happy. Stay safe.